What's up, everybody? Welcome back to the channel. All right, you guys. It's been about four days since I uh, brought that camera out here. We're going to go back here, and we're going to go ahead and check it. We're going to cross our fingers that we got some deer movement on the camera. Um, check out the mock scrape and the peanut butter jar and see if anything's been through there here recently. If so, I do have my tree stand. I'm going to go ahead and probably put it up in this video, trim some shooting lanes and all that good stuff. But if not, if we don't have anything on the camera, we got one or two options. Either I can leave it out here for a few more days, or I could just go ahead and move it to another location, try to really pinpoint where these deer are coming in and out at, and what time they're coming in and out, in and out at. So is this a morning spot or an afternoon spot? I'm not too sure. Like I've said before, this would be my first season hunting this new property. So. Let's go ahead, head on back here, check out the camera, check out the peanut butter jar and the mock scrape and see what we got. All right, I'm heading on back here. Um, I'm not bringing in the stand right now. If uh, everything looks good on the camera and the deer's been coming and eating the peanut butter and stuff, I'll come back and get it. But look at this, you guys. Look how laid down that grass is. They've definitely been in here bedding big time and I wouldn't be surprised if I jump one walking on back here to the spot I mean this grass is laid down everywhere so they're definitely in here for sure we just got to pinpoint where exactly they're coming in and out at and even if I don't now I've been thinking about this all right even if there's nothing on the camera right now I still might go ahead and put a stand up in the area because I mean it looks like a damn good spot I mean we we will really never know what's in here until we actually hunt it so I'm gonna head on back here and uh we're gonna go ahead and check this stuff out when I get back here to the back you guys stay tuned all right Making my way back here. I see my camera. So at least I know no one's been back here to steal it. Let's see what we got up here. Huh. Well. It don't look too promising. I can tell you that right now. Here's the mock scrape. Here's the peanut butter. Don't look like the peanut butter's even been touched. Oh yeah, it has a little bit. Okay. Here's the camera. Let's go see. Go ahead and check this camera. All right, guys, we got some really good signs. We got a whole bunch of deer. I just checked it, it has a hundred and 86 pictures mixed in with some videos now check this out now it's not going to be the best visual but there's a deer right there it looks like a big old fat doe here's a video and you can see them coming through right there now I got this set for about 30 seconds For each little video but here she comes I know it's really hard to see off the camera it'll probably be way better if I blow it up on my laptop and y'all can see a little bit right there she's walking out looks like there's a few of them there's another one behind her for sure so let's just scroll through there's the doe there you got a better shot and there's another one right there so there's one right there and then the big one and they stand there for a while this is another video oh there's a whole bunch of them oh man look at that there's another one right in front of the camera and they're checking out the mock scrape it's one two three four five six 
Oh, look at them. They're all over that mock scrape. Oh, yeah. All of them go right to it. Look at that. That's crazy. Oh, that's awesome. So, obviously, I have a lot of pictures and videos to go through. But what's really weird is that they didn't even really touch the peanut butter. They were more interested in the mock scrape, which is really interesting to see does like that. Which, if y'all remember in the last video I actually had um doe urine and they were all over that stuff I thought it was buck urine but yeah they're coming right through here and right down this main trail like I mentioned in the last video so definitely going to be hanging up a tree stand probably right in this general area but I'm going to go ahead flip through this uh footage a little more look through the um all the videos and pictures and if anything impressive comes about I'm going to show you guys, but for now, you guys stay tuned. All right. I don't know how well you you guys are going to be able to see this, but this is a rat coon. Look at him. He's right, right there. Little black dot. He's just walking all along. And y'all can see a little bit. And he just goes right on back into the woods. He's a fat old coon too. Pretty neat. So far I haven't seen any big bucks or anything, but there's a ton of does. And we already know, wherever the does go, is where the bucks are going to go. Still got a lot of pictures to go through, but um, there's your little update. Alright y'all, give you another update real quick. Now, so far, them deer are showing up every night. I still don't know the time, I haven't looked at all that. I need to, um take you guys back to the house after I'm done with this but I'm on my way right now back to the vehicle to grab the tree stand um, I don't have a lot of time but I picked out a nice tree I'm gonna go ahead climb up it see my view I'm gonna show you guys once I'm done with everything trimming my shoot lanes and all that good stuff but uh I really can't you know go through all the pictures and videos right now because I am running out of daylight and I want to get this done so, whenever we're done with this, stay tuned to the end of the video, and uh, we're going to go ahead and check over all the pictures and videos, see if we got any nice bucks. But so far, I got a raccoon that's showing up every night, a rabbit, and a whole bunch of days. And I still got about 100 pictures and videos I got to go through. So, I'm going to go get the stand, set it up, trim some shooting lanes. That sun is really bright, and um, I'll show you guys my whole little setup here in just a few minutes. Alright y'all, got the stand up as you can see right here. Now, I got a nice little spot right here. I'm going to clear out some shooting lanes right in this area. This little spot over here to my left is a nice little honey hole, which once I clear everything out, I'm going to show you guys what it's what my view is going to look like because I'm going to take you guys up the tree with me. So, let's go ahead and cut these shooting lanes. Pull that damn tree down with my bare hands like I'm Sasquatch. Too easy.
Sheesh. It's a lot of work, you guys. I'm out of breath, tired. I'll tell you what, the next time I come in here to um, cut my shooting lanes, I want you guys to make sure you remind me. Sharpen my damn blade. That was horrible. Wasn't that bad. All right, so I'm on up in the tree. As you can see, I'm about 20 feet up. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and flip you around, show you my view. All right, so I got a nice little hole right in there. Cut all that out. Got me a nice little hole right up in there. All that, cut it all the way out to about 30 yards. Except for that one little branch in the way, but it's okay. And then I got the hole right there. Nice little honey hole. So everything else around me is really thick. All this behind me is pretty thick. But I gotta say, I'm really excited to be coming in here doing some hunting in about a week. We're about a week away from deer season and opening up. Super excited. Now I didn't trim too many branches to where I lose all my cover. I don't want to do that. I still got plenty of cover around me to blend in with my scenery. Um, but yeah, you guys, that's pretty much it. That's what I'm looking at. Now you see this big pine tree right here? That's a straight path to about 30 yards. Another path right, let me see, right in this little hole right here. 30 yards all the way out. And then this is about 20 yards right there in the middle of all that green and stuff. I'm still really happy with this setup. I think this is going to work really good, especially if all them deer coming right through this area and going up into the cutover, into the bedding area. Sick little spot. I love it. But, um, it's getting dark in here, you guys. Let's go ahead and get out of here. Let's get back to the house. Check out the rest of the um, photos and videos and see if we got any some nice size bucks on here. We know we got plenty of does, and where the does are is where the bucks are. So let's head on back, check out the rest of the footage. Let's go. All right, guys. All right, I'm sitting here in the car. I did not want to bore you with all the 186 pictures and photos now it's been windy for the past two days and a lot the majority of them photos and videos is just the wind blowing but um it looks like these does are coming back every single night what did i do but um so far i haven't seen any big bucks or anything coming through and see you can see the does coming It's like 10 of them coming through there. See, there's a picture of a doe. There's more of them coming. There's a video. And they were all over that mock scrape one. There's a nice little doe right there. So, I know for sure it's loaded with does. Hopefully the bucks will start following the does here pretty soon. So yeah, this, this just makes me feel like I'm in a really good spot. It confirms that there is a load of deer in there. And like I said, these does are coming back in there every single night around the same time. So they gotta be um, moving in there around the evening times. All right, y'all. Well, that's all I got for you for right now. Um, I know a lot of you are waiting for me to drop my survival bag and a uh, little bug out bag type deal. So I'm going to try to get to that here very soon before hunting season starts. But feels really good to know that there is deer in there. They're in the area. It's kind of weird to me that they didn't even touch the peanut butter, but they were all over that mock scrape. So it's not going to be too much longer now. Hopefully we'll be throwing some arrows through them here very soon. But I want to say thank you guys so much for watching. I really do appreciate it. If you enjoyed this video, please do me a favor. Smash that like button. Drop them comments down below. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Make sure those post notifications are on so you know every single time I upload. Once again, thank you guys so much for watching. I really do appreciate it. And I'll catch you guys on the next one. Peace.